what is good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show y'all how to animate lightning on mobile all you have to do is have the app called node video and open it now once you you open the app you'll end up here and just click on the plus right there and now what you're gonna do is actually click on the plus here the orange plus now click on fill and click on solid color now what you're gonna do is put the color black so you're gonna go on the color section right there then you're gonna turn it black so now click on the white plus right on the transform here go on asset store and click on saber path right there now you'll see that nothing happens so to have the lightning to, to appear on the screen you'll have to click at one time and a second time to make a strand of lightning then just repeat by clicking and each time you click there will be a new strand so i'm gonna just do a little zigzag like this so as you can see i got i got a lightning right there and you can actually change the look of it by playing around with the settings and you can change the intensity like that if you prefer it like this you can actually um, disable the, the the core to make a more realistic lightning like this and yeah just play around with with what you like and you can also change the color it's really simple i'm gonna keep it to I might give it the purple color just for the fun of it to change the shape of your lightning just go ahead and click on distort layer one and just uh, play around with the settings and see uh, the one you like the most and you can play around with the glow the spread the noise scale the type you have the liquid type the fire type there's there's a lot you can do in the, uh, with the shape of the lightning it, it really depends on you clouds is the the most accurate for a lightning effect you can change up the noise complexity uh, the lesser it is the smoother it is and the more it is the rougher it will be now to animate it it's really simple by default it's already animated but you can change the animation in the wind section if you want it if you want the animation to go slower you could do that if you want it to go faster you could do that also but generally it's like fast but not that fast you know a 28 is perfect or even lesser and to to make a good animation like this you'll have to put the end offset at zero click on the clock right there at the plus for a key a new keyframe then scroll on the timeline a bit then click on the plus again and pull the value up and you'll have an animation Now the keyframe is a little bit too far, so it's slow. But like this, it's and to make it disappear from the other side, just go on the start offset, click on the clock right there, add a keyframe where the the whole lightning is visible, so right there click on the plus for a keyframe now scroll a little, a little bit further on the timeline add another keyframe and on the second keyframe you just added just change the value to make the lighting disappear so here's how it's supposed to look so yeah you could just snap it into your videos and do some creative uh, effects with it 
it's really simple to do, to do and it's really useful. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, follow my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it really helps. If you are an I like motion user, don't hesitate to buy my pack. And thank you for watching, see you in the next video.